This is the third video in our series on arrays, and all we're going to cover today is some extra examples, especially dealing with those aggregate functions we learned about in video part two. So let's look at an example. In this uh, example, we're going to be dealing with an array that has some real numbers that represents like gymnastic scores. I don't know if you've seen gymnastic scores. So we're we'll dealing with the scores array. So a whole bunch of scores that are real, like 9.1, 9.5. And the first thing we're going to do is we want to display every third array. We want to sum every third one. So we want to take the 9.8 and the 9.3 and the 9. So just if it's in the third position. So how do we know every third one? Well, we're not referring to the value. We, every third one refers to its position. So if that position, that value there, that 1, 2, or 3 is the third, so a 3, a 6, or 9, what is common about them? They're all divisible by 3 without a remainder. So that's what we're going to be doing. So in this button, we've got a simple sum algorithm where we've initialized sum. Notice that sum is a real in this case because we're dealing with array scores, which is real numbers. And we're looping from one to the end of the array. And we are simply adding that array scores onto sum. And this is adding all the values. How do I sum only the third value, every third value? So value number three, number six, number nine, and so on, if there were more. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm only going to sum if it's in the third position. So how do I check that? If And I'm looking not at the value in the array. I'm looking at the position, which is the R variable. If the R value is divisible by three, so we use mod three, and how do I know if it's divisible? Well, if it sends no remainder, then I know that 3 is divisible into R as a, and there will be no decimal answer. So it divides into that number as a whole. So if R mod 3 equals 0, that means, for example, 1 mod 3 will be a 1. 2 mod 3 will be a 2. But 3 mod 3 will be a 0. So, and then 4 mod 3 will be a 1. 5 mod 3 will be a 2. And 6 mod 3 will be a 0 because 3 goes into 6 twice with no remainder. So this gives me the remainder. So this will sum every third value. So there we go. So if I run it, let's see what it's going to do. So now, when we add all the values, we should get every third value. So it's 28.3, which I think should be 9.2 plus 9.3. Then you would do something like array scores R mod 3. That's not going to be possible with this array. Okay, now let's look at the average score. Now, you might think we did an average algorithm quite recently, but for those of you who don't know um, gymnastics, I think something sometimes what happens in gymnastics, if you have a whole bunch of judges and they give a whole bunch of scores, what they do is they find the average of the scores, but they exclude the top value and the bottom value. Now, in this case, our bottom value is 9.1 and our top value is 9.8. Now, the problem with that is we can't just sum all of them and then minus the 9.1, 9.8, because we don't know if it's maybe a, there were multiple judges that gave the, someone a minimum value and multiple judges that gave them a max value. We're not sure. So what we're going to do is if you see that there's a 9.1 there, there's a 9.1 there, and a, there are three 9.1s that we need to exclude. And there's only one max value at 9.8. But you need, so we're only averaging six values. And this could be different for each case. So how do we approach this example? So we want to basically find the average of all those except the top value and the bottom value. Well, the first thing we need to do is determine the top value and the bottom value. If we find the max and min first, then that will give us the first step. So what I'm going to do here is we want to find the average excluding the highest and lowest. I'm going to do my max and my min algorithm. And you can do it in one loop. It's quite easy to do in one loop. We're going to set our max value to a really, really small number and our min value to a really, really big number. And we're going to loop from 1 till 10. In this case, we know that there are only 10 values in the array. And so we check if the array scores are the value in the array is bigger than my max value, then make this the new max value. So if 9.1 is bigger than negative 9, it is, then our biggest value at that time is 9.1. And at the same time, if our 9.1 is less than our min, 
which means 9.1 is definitely less than 99. So then R min will become 9.1. So the very first time we do this, R max and R min is going to be a 9.1. But then when it goes to the next value, R uh, max will change and so on. So this loop will go through the entire array and find what the max value is and what the min value is. So now we are going to find the average, which means we need to find the sum of all the scores, but just not these ones. And I don't know how many they're going to be. So I'm going to need a sum and a count uh, variable. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to initialize sum to 0 and count to 0. And I'm going to loop from 1 to 10. And only if the score is not the max value and it's not the min value, if it's, one, if it's not the max, not the min, if it's anything else but the max and the min, then you want to sum that value to um, that array scores onto R sum. And you want to count how many there are so that we know how many there are at the end. So you loop from 1 to 10. If it's not the max value and it's not the min value, then I want to sum it and count it because I don't want the max and I don't want the min value. And then right at the end, we can take our sum and divide it by count. In this case, there would only be six scores because we saw ahead that there were three min values and one max value. So we're only going to count the other six. So this would be the sum of those six values. And this would be, hey, there's six of them. And that should be the average score based on all of them, except, right, the biggest value and the smallest value. So let's have a look and see what it looks like. So let's display the scores. And we're going to find the average. So it excluded the 9.1 and excluded the 9.8. And so there's a whole bunch of scores of 9.5, 9.4, 9.3, .9 a couple of 9.2. So yeah, that seems to make sense. So there we go. So that's how you can do a uh, max with an average, max and min and average, all in one. This is like a super aggregate function. We've got sum, count, average, min, max, all in one example. Fantastic. For more videos in our video series, as well as other videos on RT and Delphi related content, please go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, like our videos. Also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Give us your feedback. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.